Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video guys we are going to be doing a Halloween 2018 review. Now guys I have to say this movie is pretty good. Um, it took me by surprise I have to say. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of the original Halloween. I watched it when I was pretty young uh, which I probably shouldn't have but um, I watched quite a bit of horror movies back when I was pretty younger. Uh, I was really into that and stuff like that and um, I gotta say, guys, this is a pretty good movie. I literally, when I'm recording this, um, it's October 3rd, and I'm gonna be posting on this, uh, that day. I literally just watched this yesterday. I never got around to watching it when it actually came out. But yeah, guys, like I said, this movie took me by surprise. It's not the greatest thing. Like, definitely the original is still better. But yeah, I gotta say, guys, this movie is pretty good. Um, it's a little bit predictable at times. Um, it's a little bit cliche as well. Like, Michael Myers in this movie is like, I don't know, I don't know how old he is in the movie, but like, 50 or something, not even, may, maybe even older than that, Pro yeah, probably, because, uh, Jimmy the Curtis's character, well, Laurie Strode in the movie is, like, I don't know how old she is, but they never really bring it up, but Michael Myers is an old guy, and he overpowers everybody like that, and he overpowers all these cops and all these, and people with guns, I mean, it's a little bit cliche, and like, there's a lot of plot holes in it, but we'll get on all that in, uh, in a little while, um, but yeah, guys, I gotta say, it's a pretty good movie. Um, it's not too long, it's not too short. Um, I I definitely did like it. Um, it takes place between Halloween... No, no, no. It takes place after Halloween 2, so it's kind of weird how it kind of fits into, like, all this kind of stuff and all that. Probably one of my favorite parts about the movie um, is probably one of the, op the opening scene. The opening scene is awesome, where, like, the private investigators... Well, not investigators, but... Those two people, the two British people, they come over to where the uh, asylum is or whatever that Michael is, and like show the mask and the, the opening credits play. That was really like cool. Like that gave me chills because how cool that was. Because I haven't watched a Halloween movie in a long like Halloween like like I've watched horror movies like pretty recently, but I've never I haven't watched Halloween in a long time. So it was definitely a lot of fun to uh, definitely watch a Halloween movie again. Like I said, but. Um, like I, like I was saying, it's not too long, not too short, um, the characters were a little bit eh, uh, I think Laurie Strode did a good role as, uh, well, Jamie Lee Curtis did a good, uh, job acting and all that, but all the ca other characters, I feel, fell, like, very dull, like, Allison's very, like, like, not really good character, the mom, the dad, like, it's just the characters, most of the characters I don't really care about. I feel like the only really character I care about is Michael Myers, because, you know, he's just, you know, he's the antagonist and all that, and, or no, no yeah, antagonist, I was going to say protagonist, but, like, no, that's, that's, I was getting off track there. But anyway, I don't think many of the characters are that good. I think they're very boring. Uh, I think that's a lot of things with many horror movies. There's not many characters that are the best. But yeah, some of the characters just kind of fell dull, and that's the one thing I really don't like about this movie, is just some of the characters are just kind of flat, in my opinion, but that's what I have to say about the characters. The run, like I said, the runtime is pretty good, but I feel like there's a lot of plot holes in this, like, I don't know. There's this one scene, and I guess you could say it's sort of spoilers, but this movie did come out two, uh, two uh, years ago, so... There's a lot of plot holes, like, there's this one scene where this kid calls the cops when, like, the bus... That ever has everyone like transporting everyone, and it like flips over. And they like tell him to go look outside. Like, why would you tell a kid go look outside even if he has a gun and all that? Uh, a lot of plot holes. Like Michael gets shot. Um, Lori shoots him, and he he's gone. Like in like within two seconds, and and there's a bunch of police like and helicopters and all that. You tell me you can't see that man. Um, and also, there's no way he would have, like, ran off that fast, and also with, like, no reaction to getting shot. There's also another scene where he gets shot, and it's, like, towards the end of the movie, and he gets shot with a shotgun, and he gets his fingers blown off, and he has no reaction at all. Like, I know they want to keep Michael Myers to have, you know, he's, like, very, you know, he's not, he doesn't talk at all, and stuff like that, but you're telling me there's gonna be no reaction to having your fingers blown off, like, you're not even gonna, like, scream or anything, you just have no reaction at all. Another uh, thing is that is kind of weird, is that Lori has all the, like, she's been preparing for Michael Myers to come back on, on, uh, Halloween, and she's been preparing, she has, like, her whole house is barricaded and all that, and her windows are made of glass. 
she doesn't have any sort of protection, even though her whole house, she has all these locks in her door, and her windows are made out of glass. Out of glass. And we're talking about Michael Myers, and she has all these guns, and she's practicing, and when Michael gets there, she beats everybody, you know, or I mean, he beats everybody up, you know, and she has all these guns, and um, Allison and the mom are there, and she doesn't even get a gun to like, the end of the movie, and when she does, she hits Michael, but I don't know. It's just a lot of the characters, like I said, were dull. Uh, there's a lot of plot holes, and it's very predictable at times. Um, I was watching this with my parents, and I was like, I bet you he's going to like break through the glass, and he's going to grab her. Exact same thing happened. So this is sort of a spoiler review. Um, obviously, at the end of the movie, they light the house on fire, uh, Lori's house on fire, and Michael Myers is obviously not dead, because Halloween Kills is coming out in like two weeks. But it doesn't make much sense. I don't know how they're going to explain it, how Michael Myers survived the fire. Because in the trailer for Halloween Kills, um, the fire department's coming. But in the movie, the house is burning while they're in there. Like, the, where Michael was in, like, the little basement area. It's burning while they're there. So, is Michael just going to be, like, burned? Like, half of his body's going to be burned? Because in the trailers, or, like, pictures and stuff like that, his, like, mask is burned, but he's not burned. So... I don't know how Michael Myers works. He's not, I don't think he is, like, immortal. He doesn't have, like, any special powers. He's just a man in a suit that's, like, you know, I don't know. He's not like any other characters, like, uh, Jason or, or, uh, Freddy. He doesn't have any, like, sort of powers. He's just this guy, and he's, like, it's just, I know he has, like, plot armor, because, you know, they gotta make more movies, but, yeah, guys, uh, that's kind of what I thought about Halloween, um, this is like my like I said, my first time watching it, and I gotta say it was pretty good. If I had to give it a rating out of ten, I'd have to say it is a eight out of ten. Um, it's a pretty good movie. Um, definitely like the original much uh much better. Um, but the characters kind of fell flat. It's very predictable at times, very cliche, and some of it's a little bit stupid. But overall, guys, I think it's a pretty good movie. I'm sorry for the shorter video. But I don't really, I don't, I didn't write a script for this video. I can just say what comes to mind. Um, for some of my videos, I do write scripts and stuff like that. But this one, I didn't. I just kind of wanted to think about it. And I'm also in kind of a rush. I got to go somewhere right after I record this video. So I did hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like. Um, this is my first uh, video of Spooktober. Lots more coming tonight, guys. Uh, I might be streaming on Twitch tonight. I might be streaming Halo or something like that. Um, I might go ahead and make a video saying that I am, but yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I hope you do enjoy, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.